One of the new structures in the New Orleans Hurricane and Storm Damage Risk Reduction System is a surge barrier across the marsh west of Lake Bourne. This barrier will help protect some of the region's most vulnerable areas from surge generated through the Gulf of Mexico and Lake Bourne. A 10,000-foot barrier, almost two miles long, is being constructed near the confluence of the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway and the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. The barrier includes a sector gate, a barge gate, and a vertical lift gate. The Mississippi River Gulf Outlet is now decommissioned. This cutaway shows how the deep portion of the channel was partially filled using rock and sand to serve as the foundation for the new flood wall. The barrier's flood wall is made up of circular, reinforced, spun-cast concrete piles that are driven more than 100 feet deep. Grout is placed in between each 66-inch concrete pile, along with two smaller 18-inch closure piles to fill the gap. On the protected or populated side of the barrier, 36-inch batter piles are driven at an angle to support the flood wall. These angled piles reach nearly 200 feet deep for added stability. Each of the 66-inch piles is filled with steel reinforcing bars and concrete. A concrete cap and parapet wall top off the pile system, providing a roadway for operations and maintenance crews. The Lake Bourne Surge Barrier is the largest design-build civil works project in the history of the Army Corps of Engineers, and it will be complete in 2011. To the north at Bayou Bienvenu, a lift gate is built for commercial fishing and recreational boat access to Lake Bourne. Additional soil dredging allows a barge with a large crane to drive piles deep into the mud to support the foundation. A large coffer dam is placed around the piles and water conveyance pipes are inserted to allow tidal flows to pass during construction. A slab of tremie concrete, a special mixture for use underwater, is poured through pipes to seal off the bottom of the foundation. Then the water is removed. The pile tips are cut off and the floodgate foundation is poured. A concrete superstructure monolith is built. Once construction of the massive barrier is complete, a steel gate frame for the lift gate and an access bridge are constructed. Then the water conveyance pipes are removed and the coffer dam is rewatered. Final steps include the construction of a control house on the protected side of the Bayou Bienvenu floodgate placement of the lift gate leaf, and installation of the dolphins and guide walls to protect the structure from boat collisions. Further north, where the Lake Bourne barrier crosses the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway, two 150-foot wide navigation lanes constitute the gate system for this waterway. Construction of the barge gate foundation requires driving concrete piles, installing the coffer dam, and placing sheet piles to subdivide the tremi concrete pours. Reinforcement slabs are poured. The monolith structures are constructed. Water is allowed back into the coffer dam, and the coffer dam is removed. Construction then begins on the sector gate. Piles are driven, and a coffer dam is installed. Sheet piles subdivide the tremi pours, and the concrete sill is poured. The pile tips are cut off. The reinforcement slabs are poured and the coffer dam is rewatered and removed. Next, the steel sector gate and maintenance bulkheads are installed and the concrete barge gate is floated into place. A safe house with generators is built along with an elevated access ramp from the New Orleans East back levees. This safe house also contains the gate controls.